Hey guys, what's up? This is Sama here, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad untethered on iOS 5.0.1. Now, it doesn't work on um, A5 devices, which are iPad 2 and uh, iPhone 4S. So, uh, it's something that we have all been waiting for, and uh, without getting more into description and all that, let's get started. So all you'll need for this uh, jailbreak is your iDevice and uh, Red Snow. So for this purpose I'll be using my iPod Touch 4th generation. So I'll just put it here and I'll show you the Red Snow file which you'll need. So just let me adjust the camera a bit. So if I just go, uh, I downloaded the file so I'll also pull the, put the link in description. Here's the folder when you download it, this is what it'll look like. Uh, it'll focus. Uh, there you go. So I'll just open the folder. I'll put the links for both Mac and PC in description. Now make sure that you right click, you go to properties, uh, go to compatibility, and then scroll here and make sure that this is checked and it'll be better if you run uh, this program as administrator. Now this is my school laptop so I can't do that. But um, I think it should work perfectly without running administrator. But it's better to run that as uh, admin to prevent some errors. So as you can see here, this is here and uh, I'm just going to turn my iDevice off and run with the jailbreak procedure. So here's my iDevice, I'll just turn it off. I'm really excited because uh, I've been waiting since the iOS 5 was first released by Apple and this is actually one of the probably my best videos for 2011. So just wait for it to turn off. I'll just turn on my light so that I can show you how to put it in DFU mode. There you go. Now make sure that your iDevice is connected to the PC. For example, as you can see here, mine is with my USB cable. So make sure it's connected by via USB to your PC or Mac. Now what you'll need to do is that you'll need to put this in DFU mode. So before running Red Snow, you can do it later, but it's better if you just do it now. Turn off your device. Press the power button for 3 seconds, then hold home button along with power button for 10 seconds and then leave the power button and keep holding the home button for uh, some time till you hear the sound from the computer. I'll just put up the volume so you can hear it. So we'll start by holding the power button. One, two, three. Now start holding this button. Shouldn't take too long. Now you can see when the screen flashes after 3 seconds, leave the power button and keep holding the home button you should hear something from computer there you go I hope you heard it in the video uh, I'm not sure though so when your device is in DFU mode go ahead and start red snow so you'll see this now just hit jailbreak and this should work wonderfully as you can see here it's identifying spotting with lime rain uploading waiting for reboot and you should see something happening on your iPod here and just gonna show some stuff here. Patch and kernel. There you go. Here you can see that it'll ask you for some options. Install city and enable battery percentage. It's your option if you it's optional if you want to click it or not. So I'll just disable it. I'll go to next. Now it'll wait for reboot and look here what's happening. On your iPod, downloading jailbreak data. done and uh, there you go you see some fancy stuff on your iPod you're done with the computer now you can go ahead and unplug your USB cable from the computer and I'll show you how it goes on the iPod so there you can see that you'll see some awesome matrix kind of codes don't worry this is completely normal so don't freak out if you see these kind of codes going up and down on your uh, iDevice now uh, just to make it more clear I'll tell you again that it does not work on iPhone 4S and iPad 2 so don't even try it because it has to do something with the processor and uh, it's not yet compatible with those A5 devices and uh, this step takes some time so so I'll go now and come back when it's done alright so now my iPod is booting up
Shouldn't take too long. And there you can see that my iPod is back up. Now I'll just slide to unlock. And uh, I don't want this, so I'll go later. And what we'll try now is mail because these are the things that don't really work after the jailbreak is done. Mail is working. I can go to Safari and see if that's working. There you go, this is completely fine. Now, this is the main part, Syria, and let's see if it works. So there you go, uh, Cydia is working, so just click user, done, and this should take some time and it'll uh, go ahead do its stuff and, and you'll be able to use Cydia like normally. Now you will not need to unplug your cable on computer and like restart every time your iPod touch turns off or something happens. So I hope this video helped you, if it did, please consider subscribing, like the video, comment below if you have any questions, follow me on Twitter, it's Osama, signing out, peace.